My name is Leighton Paul Walsh, a.k.a. Walsh Fire, and this is your Miami Carnival Passport 2011. I'm going to let you know everything you need to do from the moment you land until the moment you leave. It is a no-sleep weekend, so I got the all-access pass to your insomnia. I come in for carnival. It's Thursday. You just landed. You just dropped your stuff off at the hotel. Well, there's only one thing to do, and that's to go to Wet Willys on South Beach. This is the only place you're gonna be able to relax a few hours before you hit those Welcome to Miami parties. Last time in the carnival is Thursday night, the luxurious Burn Lounge on 8th and Washington. It's got lots of intimate booths, lots of places for you and your friends to party, and of course, when you're ready for touch a dance floor, you can touch a dance floor and line with all your friends. Believe me, it's the ultimate sexy experience. DJs are gonna be back to basics from New York City, Crown Prince, Court Jester from Toronto, and yours truly walks your fire. And I can't wait for this party. It's gonna be very sexy and very nice. Soka at its best. Burn Lounge on a Thursday night. It's time for the nightlife. And right here, I'm with Nigel from Fox Creations. He actually has been promoting the number one Thursday night Soka party for the last three years, correct? Correct. Correct. Three years. It's called Soka Thursdays at Ginger Bay. So explain to everybody what's gonna be happening Miami Carnival weekend. We always have some surprises for you every carnival time. Most important, two, it's still the only free event for Miami Carnival. One of the many options, of course, like I said before, we got a lot of stuff going on every single night, but I highly recommend this one. And it's definitely not bad to party for free. For free. <laughs> and if you want more information, log on to freeupmiami.com and you get lots of details on Soka Thursdays on freeupmiami.com. There you go. You guys might see them on like uh, cable network TV and all these things, but right now we're talking about Miami Carnival and we're telling everybody where they need to go when they come in town. And um, I'm here with the man himself. This is actually Mr. Chef Creole. What's up, man? Hey, how we doing, baby? Muela. Muela, it's Muela. important. Hey, hey, when you when you eat Creole, you, you start, start to speak, speak Creole. You understand. Oh yeah, we in the house, of course, and uh, one of the items that we're serving up in our restaurant that is very, very friendly to carnival and it's a back home tradition is conch salad. And of course, conch salad is a shellfish with different vegetables. And of course, we got the hot scotch bonnet, woo, straight from Jamaica, pepper. So you know, it just ain't Creole. We got different nations in my kitchen that we represent, and of course, just like Carnival, it represents different nations. Do not come to Miami and not get some calm. Once you guys get in town, if you get lost, you got a computer, chefcreole.com. We got five different locations, or get on the cell phone, 1-800-918-CHEF. Miami Carnival 2K11, it's your all-access passport. I'm about to eat some conch. Make sure you get some conch, too. Believe me. Chef Creole, un palé plita. Oh, now we're plita. Ah, that's what's up, all right? Recharge up, get recharge up, get recharge That's right. The insomnia continues. And right now, we're on Friday night. We haven't slept yet, and we're looking forward to the biggest party on a Friday night. The party I'm talking about is happening at the multi-million dollar club in Fort Lauderdale, and that club is called Opium Gardens. It's right inside the Hard Rock Casino. Of course, you guys know it because the number one place to be on a Friday night every Friday night, AKA the Madhouse, but this particular Friday night, it's bigger, it's better. It's called Soka Viva Ultra. Soka Viva Ultra. Hard Rock Casino's Opium Gardens. It's a two level, actually it's like a three level club. It's got like four clubs in one. I'm here chilling with Buddha, of course, and we were talking about the kind of stuff that's gonna be happening that night. And one of the major things I need everybody to know is that Soko Viva Ultra is gonna be an open bar from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning. And it doesn't stop there. After the regular party ends, which is usually from 10 to about four or five in the morning, then starts the Juve breakfast party. So you have your international flag night that goes into your Juve and breakfast party. And usually what that means is we party till about 10 a.m. in the morning, so 10 to 10. Get here, my real insomniacs, my real Miami Carnival passport people, you already know what it is, we're not stopping. 10 to 10 international flag night right here at Open. <laughs> Carnival 
2011. It's Saturday evening, which means all of my insomniacs. It's time for you to get your Miami Carnival passport out and get yourself inside the ultimate day fit for Miami Carnival on a Saturday. As you can see, I got the beautiful downtown Miami backdrop skyline behind me. The Miami River's on my right side, which means one thing, you can take your boat and dock it right up to the party and jump right into the Bacchanal. I'm at Finnegan's on the River, a very exclusive venue, the place you want to be, and the event is called Scorch and Lime. Scorch and Lime. We're going to be scorching, and of course, with the drinks and food that we have here, we're going to be liming. All the DJs that you want to see are going to be here. I'm talking about Back to Basics, Richie D, Private Ryan, the bandit from Toronto, myself, all the mass bands will be in full effect at Scorch and Lime. So, as you can see, there's a pool, there's a stage, so you know there's gonna be some special guest artists. And of course, right now, I'm on the rooftop of the event. Yes, there is a rooftop. You can party up here. It's gonna be crazy, all right? Scorch and Lime at Finnegan's Carnival Saturday. Get your tickets in advance early. This is the ultimate place to be. Saturday night. And of course, you're looking for the biggest events to go to, and I'm gonna cover the first one, which is Vail Vibe Miami. It's been happening right here on the rooftop of the Miami Tower for the last three years. With me now is Keisha, AKA Jewel Miami, and she's gonna to explain to us what the Vail Vibe is all about. So Keisha, yes. what's up? All right, we have some of the best DJs line up. We have Alicia, the Duchess from Trinidad. We also have Hoppy from Trinidad. We have Back to Basics from New York, and we have Wall Street Fire right here from That's the MIA all right. and House Arrest. All right. So of course this is gonna be an all food inclusive yes. cash bar party, yes. a sold out event, guaranteed. Yes, absolutely. Your best advice to everybody. Okay, well first come early, try and get your tickets early as well. We can go online right now to veilvibe.com or jewelmiami.com. For more information, you can contact us at 877-974-VEIL. So make sure you guys log onto the website, give her a shout, and make sure you're there for Veil Vibe 2011 Miami Carnival. It vibe. will be serious. Everyone's a VIP. Everybody's VIP, believe that. All right, so it's Saturday night. Like I said earlier on, you just went to Scorch. Some of you guys are gonna go to Rave, but for the people out there who love bad, bad, wicked concerts, you love to get your rag, get your country's flag, get your partners together, and just literally act the fool with big artists performing, it's all about Rave. And right now, that's where we are. We're at Call the Race Course. I'm here with my good friend, Sean Darcy, one of the promoters from Rave, and we're gonna talk about what Rave is. Marshall Montano, the entire HD family that consists of Patrice Roberts, mm -hmm. Farmer Nappy, Zan, mm -hmm. you know, big things. Um, on top of the cast, we also have Kess the Band, you know. Uh, we also got Bungie Garland, Fan Lions, of course, you know, so it's the three big acts right yeah. there. Yeah, you, you got Iowa George. Oh, we got Iowa, we got uh, Skinny Fabulous. And don't forget, for the Chutney fans, we got the 2011 Chutney Soka Monarch. That's Ricky Jai. Ricky Jai. Yeah. yeah. You know? So definitely. Oh, don't forget, crazy. we got Ben Jai. We got Ben Jai, ben man. Jai. to the side. Yeah, exactly. As you guys can see, the venue is behind me. That's where the stage is going to be. This is where the people's going to be from my back all the way till I can't see anymore. That is actually the racetrack. That is where the horses go ahead and race and they do their thing. There won't be any horses during the event, but there will be plenty of gallivanting. So make sure you're there Saturday night, right here. Call the race course, it's all about rave and it is gonna be amazing. Real artist vibe experience. Boy, I just woke up my bumper. Oh. I want just woke up my structure. Miami Carnival 2011, we are actually here on the grounds where the carnival is gonna be taking place. So where I'm at is where you're gonna be stomping, jumping up, getting on bad, teething a wine and doing all the things that you don't want anybody to know about when you get back home. I'm here with my good friend, Oscar Brainin, who's state senator and represents this area in particular that we call Miami Gardens. Oscar, what's up, man? Well, how you doing, Mr. Walsh? I'm doing very good, my brother. We're actually on the grounds of where the carnival's gonna be. I believe the judges are gonna be somewhere over here, and all of this right here is just gonna be absolute bacchanal, just madness. Um, this is the second year that it's held here at Sun Life Stadium. How important is it that the carnival be 
at Sun Life. The Dolphins were great community neighbors and said we'd love to have such a multi-ethnic uh, and diverse mm -hmm. uh, festival come to our grounds. Um, that the, and not only that, because it serves so many people in the community that they're here, that they actually are located in, they felt it was a perfect nexus. So the Dolphins have agreed to do it and hopefully this continues years upon years and this becomes the location for the uh, carnival. And as you, said, as you said earlier, plenty of places to park, plenty of access to the stadium. Yes, yes. This, uh, this stadium is uh, centrally located as far as transportation. So I want everybody out there to please make sure you guys come here, enjoy yourself, be responsible, bring your fun, bring your vibes, bring your flag, represent where you're from, and hopefully we'll be here for many, many more years to come. Take the I say take the turnpike and drive straight in. It's the best way to get here if you're from out of town. It literally will take you right into where you're going to park, all right? So, thank you so much, Oscar Brainin. Thank you very much, Mr. We'll Walsh. We'll see you on Carnival Sunday. All right. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my house. All right, it's not my house, but it is a house. As a matter of fact, it's a mansion. What I'm talking about right now is that you've been jumping up all day long on the road. You've been getting on bad, you've been fetting, you've been doing all kinds of things that you don't want anybody to know about when you get back home. But you're charged up, you're a real soca lover, you're a real carnival baby, that means you just got just enough energy for Sunday night. And the only place to be Sunday night is right here, Villa 221. And I wanna stress to you, it is a mansion. Not club mansion on South Beach, but a real, mansion this party's been happening for four years strong and right now it's the biggest sunday night party it's called eden and it's right here at villa 221 but i'm going to take you inside and we're going to show you sunday night last lap how it's done come on let's go if you're coming. and here it is the inside of eden at villa 221 it's a real mansion it's got several rooms and several different kinds of music in each room. It really is the only party for Miami Carnival that embodies the entire Caribbean. I'm talking about Latin, compa, soca, reggae, everything inside one house. For instance, this room right here is going to be Latin and Brazilian music. You go inside and then you go this way, reggae room. And then for the people who have been loving their soca all weekend long, they can't get enough. As a matter of fact, soca is all they want to hear. We're going to go to the second story of the house, the soca room. We're upstairs inside Villa 221 right now, and this is what we call the soca room. When I say soca room, though, I actually mean soca rooms because soca is taking over the entire upper level of the house. So what you're gonna have is about two or three rooms completely open, completely combined, playing the same kind of music. Bars sporadically put out the whole place. Of course, you guys know that this is also a place that features a lot of art, so wait till you see what's on the walls. And um, a VIP section, it's all here. I know that you guys like what you see so far, but I haven't showed you the best part, the backyard. So there it is, the last place you're gonna be on a Sunday night. It's all about the big backyard, as you can see. We're at the mansion, Villa 221, the party's called Eden. So, you're gonna to have to find some more strength because we ain't done yet. After we leave Eden Sunday night, we're going to the last thing you wanna do on Monday, the last lap. I know you're not tired. I know they're not tired because this is Insomniac's weekend. This is the all passport access, non-stop vibes weekend. So it's now Monday. They just left Villa 221 on a Sunday night and they're getting ready to get their all-inclusive and wild meat on for the last lap fet. Armani, walk on. This is Armani, one of my good friends and he's the promoter for last lap, the wild meat fet on a Monday. Thank Explain you, to everybody what Wild Meat's about, man. This is at the warehouse right in Lauder Hill, Florida. The best thing about it is that for this particular event is that it's free, man. It's free and the parking, unlimited. Plenty, and it's free it has as plenty. Well. It has oh, plenty. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's. But for more information on that, you can log on to freeupmiami.com. Mm -hmm. Beautiful details about it, including the meat. You'll get exactly layout what you might be getting. Just a little teaser. That's what's up, man. So that's the last thing you're going to do for Miami Carnival. After this event, you can finally rest. You can finally go home. You can finally see your wife. 
You can finally see a husband. You can finally see those kids that you've been neglecting all Carnival weekend. This is your chance to get back in good with your job mm -hmm. and everything else that you've messed up. You haven't done any homework. Whatever it is that you put on pause, now you can get back to life because while meet's done, Miami Carnival is officially over. You can go back home and get back to your normal life. Thanks so much, Armani. Definitely I appreciate you taking your time out. Blessing. While meet the last fet, last lap, you've been access granted to all of Miami Carnival's finest events. My name is Walshy Fire, and trust me, it's been my pleasure. And if you're an insomniac, I will see you at every single event. Miami Carnival 2011, your access has been granted. Larry Dog, comedian Larry Dog, the king of a comedy, South Florida, Miami Carnival weekend. Carnival. I can't even say it because I'm black American, because I'm not Caribbean. But I love Caribbean girls don't don't speak English, especially Cuban girls. Trini girls, Jamaican girls, Haitian girls, voodoo girls. Cameraman look like an uh, R&B singer. Thank you, cameraman. But anyway, Miami Carnival weekend. Come on, let's have some fun. Hey, hey, hey. Wagwan, wow, wow, Miami people. Yeah, 2011, <laughs> Miami. Carnival, Ricky Nets party. Uh, we don't remember checking this big party. Yeah, what if what if do for the body part? Young Saturday, yeah. Everybody have a fun, yeah. Funnies, uh, they are two. Yo, I came ready. 2011, no. Miami Matsuri wa mecha mecha yabai de in Japanese, you know, member that's no. Turn up, bro. Turn up. Respect. Turn up, I'm right there.